With stimulus payments about to hit bank accounts, remember the COVID relief bill will reach much further. Many South Florida businesses, charities, and cities will also get money they desperately need. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates has new details tonight. This feeding South Florida food bank is one of several locations families have turned to during the pandemic. But now that the COVID recovery bill has been signed, organizers here are hoping those families can get some permanent assistance. The year before the pandemic, Feeding South Florida distributed 61 and a half million pounds. So from 61 million pounds to 183 million pounds, that's, that's a, a threefold increase. So it's been a huge uh, surge in demand. Paco Velas is the CEO of Feeding South Florida, and he says the pandemic has left thousands in need, but adds the American Rescue Plan has carved out billions to expand the Florida food stamp program to help many of those families. They've extended that 15% increase to those food stamp benefits through the end of September. So that's a huge win for them. As far as the after school meal program, they're extending those free meals uh, through the end of summer. And they're also providing pandemic EBT, or it's similar to SNAP, for those kids who are not going to school. But the $1.9 trillion COVID stimulus package isn't stopping there. It also includes an up to $1,400 direct payment for those making less than $80,000 a year and $2,800 for couples making less than $150,000. The $300 unemployment benefit has also been expanded, and there are multiple new tax credits. Political consultant and strategist J. Craig Gordon says money has also been allotted to help the hospitality industry. So there are special appropriations strictly for the restaurant industry and the theater industry and, and movie theaters, along with uh, cities and counties getting means that they did not get in one of the last packages. The state will receive $10.2 billion. Cities across Florida will get an additional $1.4 billion, counties $4.1 billion, and $1.3 will go to other local governments for a total of $17.6 billion. And Gordon says there's also money for schools. A lot of the CDC guidelines that were recommended for schools to open came uh, without any funding, if you can imagine that. You know, one of the things that this Recovery Act does is empower local school systems to be able to uh, financially pay for those measures, everything from PPE uh, to the enlargement of different classrooms. And so what happens next? Those funds will go to the respected committees. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 4 News, tonight.